Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Not sure if you've all seen this loading screen, but this is actually our second new loading screen of the day. I wanna talk about that. Only one more sleep until Team of the Season is here, man. Tomorrow is Team of the Season, so that's fun to talk about. I wanna talk about, the, again, the loading screens, these SBCs that we had before the Lachelso and the Ake yesterday as well as today being rewards day, maybe another little bit of the market rising um, as people buy some teams for the weekend league. I will talk about that a little bit. Since we've already seen the market pick up some more, I do expect some of the market to pick up more today, but uh, with not as many people opening packs, is there really gonna be that much demand for cards to go a lot more up? I'm not expecting a huge rise today, just maybe an, another extra lift to some cards on the market. So we'll talk about that, as well as kind of, again, just talk some market theory with why this Ake SBC today caused a lot of market movements. But first, let's talk about this loading screen because EA gave us two loading screens. The first one they gave us was the TOTS card and the TOTS moments card design. Now, I think that's just going to be used for objectives like it was last year. They also gave us this 92 rated, 94 paced little hint on the loading screen. Now, I don't really know if we can read into the striker, center mid, and goalkeeper parts of that loading screen just around the outside because those have been there for like every single day this week with, I, I can't zoom in on, I can't see that. I don't know what's going on with those little text letters, but that is most likely a card from the EFL team of the season that is being teased on the front right there because as of right now, the voting is closed for community team of the season and the votes are being counted. I think EA knows the results like this because they probably track them, um, you know, like live or something. I don't know how they do that. I wish that we got some more information. Every time we have a vote, I sit here saying, I wish we had more information because I do. But um, we will probably see an updated loading screen today with a player from Community Tots or maybe three players on the front. I'm expecting some sort of, you know, more hint type loading screen today um, in FIFA 21 as part of our content on Thursday. And then Again, as well, they haven't actually updated this. I'm going to go in and check right now. I just checked a little bit ago, and they didn't update it. But as a part of the first loading screen that they added, they um, showed a little Foot Champions logo, basically this crest right here that says Weekend League Details, that Foot Champs crest. It was in the bottom right of the loading screen, which makes, again, makes us think that we will have the updated Team of the Season rewards, which if they didn't do that for Team of the Season, then that'd be a huge L. But it looks like they are gonna be updating those and we'll hopefully get some more information on Friday about that as well. But that kind of locks in and confirms that. I wonder if at rewards tonight, we will see this get updated. So if you wanna go in here, check the schedule, and then for this weekend and the weekend after, these should say Ultimate Team of the Season packs. And that will be like a, give, a dead giveaway if um, that stuff does get added to the game. Now, I don't know if like Footwatch has to tweet out a code for anything of that nature, uh, but I have not seen anything yet. I don't remember if they tweeted out a code last year for those updated rewards packs or not, but we'll have to see if that happens um, in the next day or so anyway. But let's talk about these two cards right here because this is a nice little showdown for the, the cup final that is happening uh, later this weekend on the 25th. And this is pretty cool, right? This is pretty cool because um, these short SBCs have been giving us pretty good cards last couple times. Of course, with the Nerez and the Zeko uh, and the Carrer and the Taliso, those were pretty decent. And then Ake and Lachelso here. Ake, in terms of meta FIFA, is the guy. And this actually, this SBC made a lot of market movements. And we're going to talk some like economic theory, simple economic theory in a second, but just kind of going behind. The, the why of why cards move today because of this SBC. I'm going to do Lo Celso because that card looks ridiculous and he's probably not going to get a better card than that all year long. So I'm going to do that. Hope my Spurs win and this goes to a 90, but we're most likely going to be seeing an 87 rated Ake card. You guys know, but that guy's going to look pretty dope with that uh, update as well depending on who wins the cup this weekend. So of course, since it's a cup final, there will not be a draw. It is a one and done. The winner is gonna take it home. So it's plus twos only for this upgrade, which is kind of nice. Uh, Ake is coming in at 250,000 coins and the Celso is right around 200,000 coins. Both squads require informs, um, which, you know, I don't think this Ake is that bad of value. I know we're right before team this season. And I've been telling you guys, hey, be careful with this stuff uh, because you know, just be careful with your coins. But I do think the sake is not too terrible a value, especially if you factor in the upgrade. And if you take a look at cards on the market that are in that same position and same league, um, he's relatively priced decent to cards that are around him. You can look at this Laporte card, which is what a lot of people sold today. 
to go get that Ake card, this card is not as good as Ake. So that's kind of an interesting thing that's out there. Um, and this is what I wanted to talk about today. A lot of center backs on FIFA dropped. And this is one thing that we call um, substitute goods. That Ake card is a center back in the Prem came into the game today as a substitute item. People like that card better than their than their Laporte, their informed Joe Gomez. Some people sold informed Kyle Walker today. Some people were selling informs from other leagues today, other other center backs from other leagues uh, to go and do that Ake SBC. And that is a substitute good coming onto the game. So people sell the thing they already have to substitute it with that new item. So you see those other items drop. So that's why you saw Laporte drop today. That's why you saw Joe Gomez. And that's, that happens a lot around this time of the year with team of the season as well. And I feel like this is something that I don't talk about enough is knowing, can you invest in some of those substitutes because will they bounce back? And a lot of times with the Premier League center backs, they bounce back because again, think about what we have coming in one day as well. We have a couple of Premier League, probably midfielders and defenders that will be coming out that people will want to try as TOTS cards in the community TOTS. And you know, the... Uh, links to like Juan Basaka for this Joe Gomez, some English links there, right? Maybe uh, if we get the, I think Harvey Barnes is in, that could be a card that links to Joe Gomez, you know, the English links in the Prem. Then you've got the French links with possibly Digne being in and Damble being in Community Tots. Those are all links for a guy like Laporte as well that could make these cards bounce back decently quick. So that's kind of what we're talking about when we're talking about substitute goods, but then also complementary goods like that Juan Basaka coming out you know, possibly making this Joe Gomez rise. So I think with a lot of these Prem center backs, what we saw today was a drop off because people were, were selling them to go and do another card, AKA the SBC for uh, Ake. But then you're going to see these guys bounce back because Prem center backs bounce back literally all the time because there's there's a lot of high form, right? Prem is the number one league in FIFA. You have the Prem tax, you know, as, as a lot of SBCs are overpriced because EA knows that the Prem has that much demand in this game. Not saying that other leagues are bad. This, this league just has a lot of hype. So I do think you will see these guys bounce back. You know, uh, the... I think the Joe Gomez inform was like 280,000 coins. He's down to like 240. I picked one up at 230 or 5, 240. I picked up a Laporte at 230 just because I think those cards are going to rebound back in the next day or so. And that's sort of an investment that you can make. Now, I also will say um, some of the other substitute good center backs from other leagues, when you see stuff like this happen, uh, like you see a center back come out into the game, brand new card. And you see other center backs from other leagues dropping off. This Tap Sobel was 300,000 coins flat earlier today. He was 330 before that SBC came out. That's a great time to get involved with some of that stuff too. If those cards are meta and still very popular and used by a lot of people, they will oftentimes get sold off. But again, we're probably going to have some Bundesliga cards. Um, Leon Bailey. I don't know if people run five at the back or three at the back very much, but that Leon Bailey left wing card could link to Tap Soba. You know, people may have Sengraven, the objective. So maybe you'll have some of the, not just Bundesliga, but the. Um, the links for the uh, the Leverkusen cards come back as well. But, you know, that's kind of one thing that I look out for when we have these substitute SBCs come out is the other leagues that get affected. Hermoso went down today. Um, some of the other Bundesliga center backs like Upamecano went from 190,000 coins uh, all the way down to 175K. He's bounced back to like 190. I mentioned that Hermoso card. Um, there was one other center back that I saw today that I wanted to mention that went down and is kind of now bounced back. Uh, oh, Klosterman. Klosterman was 200,000 coins before the content drop yesterday. And he went down to 180K flat, even a little below that. He's back up to like 190, 200K. So that's a popular thing that you do see with rare and meta cards. Those always bounce back right away. So that's a very popular way. Now, of course, you saw the complimentary goods again rise with the links to the Ake as well. Cancelo, right? Of course, being from Manchester City, getting that green link to the Ake card. This road to the final Cancelo was up today. I think that... Um, Probably Van Anholtz, left back, rule breaker card was up today as well. So those are the two types of things we talk about a lot. When SBCs and objectives come out, uh, you see a lot of people buy out the links uh, to that player, which would be a complimentary good, but then also a substitute good. If you see like a center back, let's say we see, like remember when they dropped the, um, 
when they dropped the Fofana, right? There was other center backs in the game, like your Laporte and your Joe Gomez in form. They dropped because people could sell those and go get an untradeable item, the new item, because in this game, right, EA wants you always progressing towards that next item, the newest thing that they put out. That's what keeps this game going, is trying to get you the next best card or the, the coolest card that they've just put out. And, you know, people are always going for that. So you will see that stuff get painted sold. And, you know, just you have to look at, how many cards are in that player pool? Is there demand for those cards to see if they're going to rise back up? Um, but that's kind of how things work. And as we get a lot of content, a lot of players and objectives in the next couple of weeks during team of the season, that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind to watch out for it with moves on the market. But again, today is rewards day. I don't expect a lot of people to open their packs. They'll probably be saving. And again, this market is very high. You take a look across the game. Prices are up. People have bought cards for their teams. They've invested just because they knew this market was low. Now, does the market go up more today? I honestly think that it does. I'm not expecting a huge huge market rise today. Uh, but some of your out-of-packs cards that are pretty meta still, like this uh, Maldrich is 250k, that's not really up like that much. Adama's up almost 100,000 coins. Awar is up 100k. Sterling is up over 200,000 coins from his absolute lowest. So you've seen prices really rebound back. Um, but I think still a lot of more casual players have to get involved with some players for their teams today. So you might see some of the um, maybe cards that haven't risen up that much yet. Uh, rebound more today. So keep an eye out there. If you want to make some last second buys, look, go out in the market and look for stuff that hasn't really risen up that much yet and see if there could be a potential window where you buy into those cards because there just hasn't been the, they, they have not been bought up yet and they could go up a little bit more today. So that's one thing I would say, keep in mind. Uh, if you're, t if you're looking for some last second investments, scroll through these team of the weeks, look through some of these cards and there's, there's still some buys out there for sure. Uh, you know, that of cards that are still kind of low that could be rebound back and go a little bit higher after rewards today. So some cards, though, they're up so much. I'm a little worried for them today. I'll be honest. I'll be honest that some cards are up so much that I'm a little worried they might not continue going. So that's one thing to just be careful with today is I do think there is going to be panic selling as we head into Friday. Of course, the first Friday of team of the season, there's going to be a lot of hype around that. So I would just say, if you have a card that's up so much and you bought it strictly for an investment, you didn't buy it for your team and you don't plan to hold on to it for a while, I would be, you know, possibly saying, hey, maybe we take the coins in that card today just because uh, we want to make sure that we're not setting ourselves up for something a little bit risky. So I'm getting kicked out of ultimate team. Fair timing right there. Uh, I'm going to have to flip an animal because I've searched the market too much and too fast for EA's liking. But I think the market is going to go up a little bit today. I just think some cards as well might not go up that much. I think some cards uh, might kind of fizzle out because they're up so much already. Let's see how fast I can do this. It's a two clicker and I went the wrong way. 1.2 seconds, man. I got to be faster. I got to get that at one second or below. Anyways, um, I want to talk about SBC fodder as well because I talked about it yesterday, but I want to talk about it again today because we are seeing part of this market drop lower and lower every single day because we don't get an icon moments SBC. We don't get anything big like that. And people that have invested in fodder, they sell it and it continues to happen, right? 86 is today. Look at this daily graph, by the way, to see how low 86s have gotten during the player picks uh, for the icons, right? I, the mid or prime, or what is it? Yeah, mid or prime player pick, 573 points on the index. We are down to 277 points on the index. We were at 260 nine earlier yesterday because every single day this week after content drop fodder has dropped lower because people that have invested in it are selling it because they're afraid that there's a lot of supply coming this weekend with the packs that are being opened now yes there's going to be a lot of supply but so many people are selling because they think it's going to go lower when those packs come out in my opinion this is kind of what happened earlier before team of the year when fodder prices crashed down into team of the year for the week before that, because everybody thought they were going to get destroyed by the pack supply, but then fodder prices really didn't go down that much. And they started to recover because more and more people were going and buying. And then there were more and more SBCs released that people were buying those fodder cards for. So if you're taking a look at SBC fodder on this game right now, I think that some of this stuff is getting really low. 83s and 84s, don't touch them yet. But 85s and above, especially 86s to 90s and 91s, O Black was 60 thousand coins earlier today and that is dirt cheap man that is dirt cheap now of course you think okay are those are those cards not going to become as valuable because we're going to have 
you know, team of the seasons out with 90 high, high rated, like 90 plus cards that people will have in their clubs. Yes, there is a point to that. But especially for 86s, 87s, and 88s, there's still going to be some of those higher rated squads. EA is continually putting out Icon Moments SBCs. There's going to be higher rated requirements for the TOTS player SBCs that they put out. They'll put out some big boy SBCs during team of the season that will require high rated squads. So I still think you're going to see demand for a lot of these cards on the game. So for an 88 rated squad, you're still going to need 86s, 87s, and 88s. Even if you have a 93 or a 94 rated card thrown in there, you know, 88 or 89 is still a very high rated squad. So you're going to need some of these higher rated fodder cards. So if there is ever a time for a club stock, today with rewards, maybe a little bit of pack supply and then marquee matchups, if there's no big SBC today on Thursday, you could see this stuff uh, drop back down again. And if you wanted to do a club stock, be my guest, because I think that's going to be a great time to just add some of those cards to your club, let them rise during team of the season. They're probably going to fluctuate a decent amount as we get SBCs and as they come and go. But that, I think, is a good investment right now if you want to put some coins into it. And if you're planning on doing any SBCs um, during team of the season. Now, also, informs. I want to talk about informs because these guys are getting cheap. Once again, 84 rated informs are 23, 24,000 coins. That's low. That is low because the minute we start getting SBCs during team of the season, they're going to require informs. They will also require team of the seasons. But last year, let me show you what happened at the beginning. This is an SBC for Trippier, right? Team of the season community Trippier released during the first week. He required an 85 and an 86 rated squad with two informs in the first squad two and one inform in the second squad so at least early on and especially this year there's going to be less team of the season cards that are actually in packs 30 for the first weekend instead of 41 from last year that could make ea say hey we're not going to require team of the seasons right away we need to get more of those fodder ones put on through the other secondary league tots um, and stuff like that before we actually start requiring them. And I think there's going to be some informs that will be required right off the bat for these SBCs. So like I bought a Lee Bolt today at 23K. I just club stocked it. You know, watch out for some of these other 84 rated informs seem to be really cheap. And then 86 rated informs seem to be cheap as well because there's not really much of a price difference uh, between the 86s and the 85s. And there's not much of a price difference between 84s and 83. So I like 84 and 86 rated informs the most, and especially the ones that aren't in packs right now, uh, like Lee Bold is from a while ago. He was very invested in because of that left mid position with the with the German links. And I think this card's really getting sold off hard. I think this Bamford card as well it could be a really good look. I mean, semi-usable card, probably getting a Tots himself. I mean, this guy's been chilling around 30,000 coins for the past month, right? Since he came out in March, and uh, now he's down at 28K. If you can get this guy like 25, 26 on bid, um, I think that's a W, right? With all the English links that will be coming out during this promo. And then if we do get English SBCs from Prem Tots or maybe even Community or EFL, um, I think there's some good links there. So watch out for some of those informs on bid. You can still buy the ones that are in the current team of the week, like... Um, like Yarmachuk, uh, I think is in, I think Insame might be in. So just kind of keep an eye out because those cards are getting supplied and those will be the easiest investments. But if you can find the ones um, that are out of packs that are from previous um, previous team of the weeks, um, I do think those will be the best buys. Now, one quick point as well is that last year EA stopped putting out team of the weeks during team of the season. And um, I don't think that's going to be a thing this year. I think they're going to include and continue team of the weeks because last year they were doing team of the week moments because football was stopped and all that stuff. I don't think that's going to be the case. Well, obviously football is not stopped right now, but I don't think they're going to stop team of the weeks this year. Uh, and last year, a lot of team of the week cards went up a lot during team of the season because there was no supply and it was all demand, no supply. I still think they're going to do team of the weeks this year, uh, but I still think team of the week cards are going to rise up because they're going to be demanded for SBC. So I still think that stocking some of these cards in your club, just one or two of them, um, is, is going to be a good play as we head into team of the season. But anyways, that's kind of the video for today, boys, because we talked about the Ake. We have one more day until team of the season, man. I'm ready because right now it's just typical right before a big promo. 
EA is really not releasing anything. And I'm going to say it again. I don't think we get any big SBCs today on Thursday because it's one day right before the promo. But uh, you don't have a lot of time left. If you want to complete Renato Sanchez, if you want to complete another Prime Icon upgrade, the 81 plus doubles, the 83 times 10. Um, the 83 times 10 is for sure on my radar. I'm really hoping that 83s drop off because that would help me complete that 83 times 10. 84 rated in the team of the week. For that squad but uh, of course a lot of people are gonna get these packs get these SBCs done um, before that team of season squad comes out so I'm not expecting big content today but again last time I said that they dropped the prime prime icon upgrade so potentially icon moments player SBCs today um, but if they aren't really good value and as we saw on Sunday the players that they released were not good value so I'm not really I don't have high hopes for if they were to release more moments SBCs that they would be good value today. So just kind of being careful with that one and, you know, seeing that as a possible content for today, but don't really think that that could impact the market that much. So good luck if you're flipping cards. Good luck if you're making coins. It's been a great week to make coins, right? The market's been feeling a lot better in the last couple of days. Flips have been great. Um, and hopefully as we continue in this weekend, a lot of packs are going to be open. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Friday is a huge day. Saved up packs will be opened uh, because it's the first week of team of the season. I'll talk about some moves that I made last year. I made tons of coins last year on day one of community team of the season, trading with those new TOTS cards. So we'll talk about that tomorrow as well. One day away, boys. All right. Enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.